Hi, today we're going to see how to create a letter portrait effect in GIMP. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So first we need to remove the background from this image here, from this layer. So I'm going to press the plus key on my keyboard to zoom in. Like this. Now I'm going to scroll down. And now on this arrow here, just click on it and then drag. You will be able to move on the Canva here. And now I'm going to select, so I'm going to zoom in, and now I'm going to select the free select tool. And now I'm going to trace selection around the person here. So now that I'm almost done, I just need to close the selection. So left click here in the first selection here and then press enter. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now make sure to add an alpha channel to this layer here, right click. So here, add an alpha channel. And now I'm going to invert this selection. So go to select, invert, and then press the delete key on your keyboard. So here it is, and now go to select, none. And now I'm going to change the canvas size. So go to image, canvas size. So I'm going to make the width 1920 and the height 1080. So this is the size of the YouTube thumbnail. And now press enter. And now just click here to center, to center the layer here, as you can see. And now click resize. And now I'm going to scale down this layer here so select the scale tool left click here and now as you can see here the chain icon here is linked so i can either type on the width on the height so for example i type the backslash here and then two and then press enter so here it is it divided both the width and the height on two you can do calculations so click on scale and now select the move tool i'm going to move it to the center here like this and now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon here, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now place it under the person here. And now for now, I'm just going to fill it with white. So here like this, and now select the top layer. And now I'm going to select the text tool. And now I'm going to change the foreground color. So left click here on the foreground color and then just type A for A, F, B, 5, press enter. And now press OK. And now just left click here to create a new text box in the layer. And now I'm going to type A, control A to select letters here. And then I'm going to change the font size to 950. So here it is. Select the move tool. Just going to move it here like this. So now in order to center the text layer and the person layer, so select the text layer first. So go to layer, crop to content and then select the person layer, go to layer, crop to content, select the alignment tool, and then just drag selection here like this, select both layers, and now make sure the align is related to the image, and then align them horizontally and then vertically, so like this. So press the plus key in your keyboard to zoom in. And now if you want to remove these squares here, the alignment tool, just select another tool like this, and then select the person layer, layer to image size, and then letter layer, layer to image size. And now I'm going to place the letter here under the person layer. So click on this icon here like this, select the person layer, and now I'm going to reduce the opacity so that we can see where to place the person here in the letter. So like this, so here. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. Bring back the opacity of the person layer here like this. Select the letter layer, right click, alpha to selection to make selection of the letter here, what's inside the layer. And now I'm going to invert the selection. So go to select, invert. And now we are selecting everything that's outside the A letter here. And then select the person layer. And now I'm going to select the eraser tool. So here are the settings I'm using. And then I'm going to increase a little bit the size here. So decrease it. And then I will remove this part here, down here. So as you can see, even if I try to remove what's inside 
the text here I can't because the selection is outside now remove the inside of the letter like this so here it is and now go to select none to remove the selection and then right click layer to image size and now I'm going to change the color of the background layer the white background here so select white layer here and now I'm going to change the gray color to a lighter gray so this one here like this press ok select the gradient tool make sure the gradient is FG to BG RGB foreground to background RGB and the shape is radial and then just trace from the center here so I'm going to place the white color in the middle here and the gray color outside so you can shift by clicking on these two areas here between the foreground and background or click on this one here like this and now just select another tool to confirm so here it is and now select the top layer I'm going to merge down the person with the letter so click on this icon here and now I'm going to add drop shadow so go to filters light and shadow drop shadow and now I'm going to increase the opacity so I'm going to increase the opacity here and then press OK. And for example, if you want to strengthen the drop shadow, just duplicate the layer, this one here. So here it is, and then just reduce the opacity to your liking. So here, and now right click, new from visible. So here it is. That's how you can create a letter portrait effect in GIMP. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and uh, till next time.